everyone been doing? Um, it's been a while since I've been on the camera. It's been a while since I've been on my camera. It's uh, been a long, long, long hard spring, long hard summer here, but the uh, uh, harvest is just a couple days of play here, but uh, picked up the camera this morning and went out of the house for some reason. Um, thought I'd tag it long, so. Uh, been on some turkey litter today. Uh, it's been hustle bustle on it really uh really no good time to video much today on it but uh hopped over and loaded tractor this evening gonna be a little more slower pace uh, me and the hired hands uh going to pick up some brown bales out of the field and uh get stacked uh stacked out of the way at another piece of property uh we finished our hay for the year yesterday i finished round bale all the hay so uh, no more hay. Uh, we got two more days of hauling turkey manure. Uh, we've got a contract to uh, haul out of a farm. So we, we clean out six barns off this one farm every eight weeks. So we're in that cycle now. Uh, we clean out two barns a day. As soon as we get these six barns clean, uh, we'll finish up Wednesday around noon. The combine will hopefully be rolling Wednesday evening here. So, um, hopefully, no glitches. Everything gets rolling. We'll grab you guys and get you going. So, a little bit of road travel here. We've been using the loader to uh, load manure and it's actually spread it on one of the hay fields we just built this week. So, um, Got about a six mile trek to the next field here. I've got the spear on the front, so I'll pick you guys back up when we get to the field and start uh, start grabbing bales, get them thrown on the trailer.
got uh, 14 bales on the trailer. And I've got one on the front spike here. So there's 15 bales in that field there. I normally do not put 14 bales on. Normally 12 bales is a load for me. What I call a load. So. But uh, 14 will fit on there. Um, it is a legal load yet. We're not going, but five miles up the road here and uh, stop piling hay. So, um, means that's uh, cleaned that field up. That's what I had and put on there, but it's, it's sure a full load for that truck and trailer. So, uh, we'll get up the road here and uh, try not to cause no accidents. I hate packing the round bell on the front too. It's just hard to see over and see around, especially when you're on a state highway at an intersection here and uh, it's just hard to see over and around to get down the road so we get to where we're unloading that i'll uh, get you guys turned back on and uh we got one more field uh to go on to get old pick up yet there's only eight bells on the other field it's a small field but uh we call it gold mountain and it's uh it's to be a challenge to get to sometimes. Heading back this little drive through the woods here. It's only 100 yards back here, but it opens up in the field. But uh, there's a little grass area here we use for uh, turkey litter stockpile, and then we uh, stockpile hay here too out of the way. And then uh, as we need it through the winter, we come back up here and uh, reload it and uh, haul it to the cows. We just uh, we don't have enough room where we feed to stock all of our hay, so. We use this little area to, to stock hay at. So. Truck and trailer's already back here. He's waiting for me to get unloaded and uh, we'll get him, uh, get the hay set off and stacked up and uh, head to the next field. made it to the second farm this is what we call goat mountain it's a little single lane road kind of got a deep ravine on one side but uh it's pretty steep in a few spots for modern day farm equipment but it ain't terrible um the reason we cut hay up here instead of trying to row crop it, it it's a small field but we definitely can't bring row crop equipment up and down this driveway for sure so uh, truck and trailers up here waiting for me uh, we've got eight bales up here to load and take back to the spot where we unloaded and uh, get these offloaded and we're gonna call today uh, start hauling uh, turkey litter tomorrow again tomorrow morning and uh, like i said we got two more days of that and uh Hopefully we're going to get the big green combine fired up Wednesday evening. 
So we got the eight bells loaded and back down off Gilt Mountain. Took our time coming down through there, but uh, headed up the gravel road here and headed back to the haylot there and uh, get these stockpiled. Uh, call today for the hired hand there and see what else I can get into yet this evening. Um, it's only five o'clock our time here Monday evening so I'm sure there's something else I can get in trouble with you well guys we've made it back into the house here and uh, kind of looks like a uh, used equipment lot around here um, this hay equipment gets washed up and gets put in the barn we're done with it we gotta get the auger set up we gotta get the bin ready the versatile is getting ready to go to the field. Uh, the square bell accumulator sitting there. It's going to the barn. Disc bind there is getting washed and going to the barn. Uh, we got one more farm to haul hay in on. We'll probably do that tomorrow evening after uh, hauling manure. And we've got an extra piece of equipment showed up here today. A little project going on maybe this week. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Been a while since I posted a video. Maybe we'll get a few pop up this fall. See how harvest gets started here and uh, see where this leads again. <laughs>